Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to design ratings and review screens in Flutter. So first of all, quickly run our application. We are inside our application, creating Flutter e-commerce application and the home, store, wishlist and profile screens at the bottom you can see are created. Click on this product. Product design is also completed. If you are new, you can watch the previous videos. Link is in the description or you can get the playlist link from the right top corner. We can change these images. We can select any image. Go back. Down below, we can select any type of variation this these also you can see at the top images are also being changed and we have checkout and down below we have add to cart or remove to cart count for each product then in over here when we are going to click on this review to see the reviews of this specific product you can create a separate screen for this reviews you can also add all the reviews right down below your product details so it's all up to you but for the rating and reviews first we have an app bar. then we have over here this screen is or this tutorial is going to be very informative related to rows related to columns you will see and learn definitely a lot of concepts over here we're going to use expanded how to use the flex properties to create adoptive designs when i'm going to turn this so currently it's rotated and you can see our design is still responsive we have all the screens visible and same when we turn it back you can see this is the adaptive design so you will learn also how to use this type of design then we have individual reviews at the bottom after total rating and then also we have a reply from the specific store we can expand the total reads maybe the review or the reply is a bit long so it's a good practice to hide your extra text and keep the design visible as much as we can we are creating Flutter e-commerce application and we have already completed section 1 for project setup, themes, etc. For the section 2, we have already completed the login design. In the section 3, we are about to complete e-commerce design or the complete e-commerce app UI. Whereas today's tutorial is also very important. So let's get started. Under studio and the first thing we need to do for this tutorial is to add one dependency which is flutter rating bar make sure to add latest one click on pub get once done let's head back over here this is the product review screen so it's located in the lib folder features in the shop because these things or these screens are related to the shop and using mvc pattern we have added all the screens over here and currently we are dealing with product reviews the recent tutorial was about the product details which is already completed whereas today we are going to talk about the product review screen this is a simple stateless screen and at the top you can see i have created simple t app bar which has a title reviews and ratings when you see this t app bar it's a custom app bar again you can watch the custom app bar tutorial in the same playlist link is in the description okay so first of all let's run the application okay so our application is running let's go to sign in screen click on it down below click on any product currently we have the dummy data but we will add the details in our next section so down below when we are going to click on this reviews button we should be redirected to this product review screen go to product details down below we have an icon button for the reviews so using get.2 if you are using the get text library you can simply use get.2 feature to redirect to any screen make sure to add or create a function and inside that function import the product review screen add it over here add back let's save the code Click on the reviews and you can see we are inside reviews and ratings app bar title and next to it we want to show the back arrow this back arrow will automatically handle on back press event when we are going to click on it we will be redirected to the previous screen so inside the reviews and ratings or ratings and review screen the first thing we need to add is, is a padding of this child as a padding we are going to use agentsets.all to add space from all the sites we also have a constant at the top so let's remove it now once all the spaces is added in the child we want to place elements in a vertical direction so use column because we are dealing with the text so text should start from the left side so its cross axis alignment should be from the start now as a children first thing we need to add that title it's not a title it's a description specific related to the reviews let's save it and you can see the text is now applied okay next add some space and after that we are going to add overall product rating now to do this if you see the design we first have a complete rating indicator which is in the text so this means that we need a large text first of all and then in the second we have list with the reviews which is one two three four and five each has its own progress path so this means that we have to lay down the design in a row first of all we are going to use the column to lay down everything in a vertical direction 
columns but then now we are going to use the row to place elements in a horizontal direction so first use the row as the children of the row we first have a text property which has some rating as a style we want to make this theme a little bit larger so theme dot of context dot text theme dot the one which is largest is display large this is what we are going to use we have to remove the constant from the top so let's save it and now in here we want to lay down multiple indicators on top of each other so this means that we are going to choose column again so as the children of the column for one specific line we need two things the first one is a text second one is rating itself which is a linear progress indicator so we again need row for this so we have a text which is five in this case and style as a theme body medium and for the next property in that same row we are going to use the linear progress indicator first of all let's give its value of the linear progress indicator let's say we have 0 0.5 rating then add a minimum height minimum height should be 25 we also need a background color background color is gray then the value color the value color is the color of this value which is 50 percent this means that uh, how much rating we have provide uh, we have given to this five star so specific product and for the value color if you hover over this you can see we have to wrap this with the animation color then we have to provide the actual color so to do this we cannot provide directly the primary color let's say we have multiple options so let's say we're going to use always stopped animation and inside this let's add our color let's add a constant okay at the last we need border radius with the border radius circular we have to remove the constant again at the top and we can add it over here let's save the code and we have a problem over here which is box constraints forces and infinite width this means that we cannot use linear progress indicator in this way so we have to wrap this widget with an expanded property and still if we see this we have a render flex children still with incoming constraints are unbounded so the solution is we have to wrap this linear box with size box widget let's add its width the device utils dot get screen width so let me show you this function it is a media query dot of context dot size dot width it will simply return the complete width of any device so let's say our device is in rotation or it's rotated let's say we have a device with the last screen we're using this application on the tablet it will take all the width of that specific device and would multiply with 0 0.5 means that we require 50 percent of that complete width of the screen you can also increase this you can make it 0 0.8 percent doesn't matter but i want to show you when i'm going to save this code you can see still we have some issue which is the same issue with constraints are unbounded this means that still we are facing the same issue so we try to solve it over here but you can see at the top we are using the row property and again at the top we have another row then column then row then again we're using expanded so this means that things are interlinked with each other so we cannot fix them over here so let's try to do another try on top of this row we have a column property so let's try to wrap it with another widget which is expanded let's save it again and this time you can see we have successfully overcome the issue of that specific row because this row was containing the size box which was unbounded with the linear box or the linear progress indicator had unbounded width okay now one more thing we want to reduce this minimum height to maybe 10 to 11 let's save it and the size is now reduced but over here we want to add some spacing to this one and we also make sure that our design should work on all the devices we try to wrap it with the expanded widget over here the first let's start doing work on this one because we have already added expanded to the text and widget over here so let's try to also wrap with the widget expanded to this one which is the rating overall rating let's save it and now you can see they are equally dividing the complete space but we don't want to do this so that's why we are going to use the flex property you can change these values you can play with these values but i'm going to assume that we have total space of flex 10 so i'm going to give three percent to this one and the remaining flex seven percent to this one let's save it now you can see we have provided extra space to rating and reviews same we are going to do at the bottom over here let's wrap the text with then again expanded widget this time just for the teaching example i'm going to assume that we have total width of 12 flex so this means that you can assume anything i'm going to assume that we have a flex of one for the text flex and 12 for sorry not 12 because we totally have 12 flex 
so 11 for this one one for the flex for the text let's save it and now you can see we have a small space that we wanted using the two expanders with the flex property we can easily create designs like this this is the rating progress indicator so we can easily extract this code refactor extract flutter widget e rating progress indicator extract it as a separate widget and a constant to make it reusable we have to add few values assign text over here and value for the linear progress indicator at the top now we have to provide two required attributes one is in the text and one is the value text is five value is 1.0 let's add it five times and change these values okay let's save it and now you can see we have five rating progress indicators with the different values extract them go to widget i have created a new class which is progress indicator and pasted all the code over here add required imports let's head back over here import this library and we can also extract this one refactor extract part of widget the overall product rating extract it i have created another class which is rating progress indicator and let's import this library and that's it the overall product rating simply import this over here next we need to create a rating so for the rating we are going to use the plugin we added which is rating bar indicator inside its item builder we are going to not use the context we actually don't need an index also so we simply want to create an icon over here which is icons x dot star add its color colors dot primary add a constant control alt l let's save the code and you can see we have five stars we can manually add the item count as well so it's up to us but by default they have five let's give the rating to maybe 4.5 because it's a double property we can also give the item size you can also give the direction but because by default it has horizontal direction so we don't need this let's save it and you can see here filled with the blue color but they are not visible so we use the star which is filled star one and you can see we also can use unrated color let's use the gray color let's try to change the rating let's save it and it's visible because we need this rating bar on different places we can also create a separate widget e rating bar indicator extract it as a separate widget we are going to extract it also here go to common in the widgets search for the products you can add a folder over here inside the products because ratings mostly related to the products but it's all up to you you can keep it outside the products as well okay, inside the products we have a rating folder and in the rating folder we have created a new rating indicator class with the same rating indicator feature so to reuse this create a double property of rating so any rating can be assigned to or design added in the constructor add back to product reviews inside the rating indicator import this one add the required rating and let's give it 3.5 let's save it and it's visible then as a text we want to display the number of reviews for this specific product and the theme we're using is a body small let's save it and you can see the count let's add a small space over here with a space between section in the sizes class which is 32 because after this we want to display the list of reviews from from the user so it's a user reviews list if you see the user design we first have to create or display the user image which is a profile image with a user name and then we have three dots which can have any menu then we have a specific rating for that specific user against a product and date of that specific review and also the review details after that we have a reply section for that specific review so over here i am going to use user review card which is an empty widget and it has nothing inside it i have created over here which is inside the widgets you user review card so first of all we have an empty stateless widget with a container we are not going to use the container but instead use the column to put all the elements in a vertical direction so for the first instance we are going to use the row as a first widget so in here we are going to use the circle avatar but you can also use the circular image so just to exploring all the possibilities so using circle avatar we can create background image currently we are going to use the asset image but later on we will display the images from the database use the profile user profile image one which is already added in the image strings which is in the utils constants in the image strings we have declared three images add them you have to go to the assets in the images we have a reviews folder with the same three images 
you just have to copy their path copy from the content route paste it over here like this and name it anything you like with a static at the back one sided once you add the new images you also have to declare in the pubspec.yml file right over here with the under the assets which is assets images and reviews so let's go back we saw our image is visible let's add some space using t size dot space between items then we want to create a text text is john doe file will be body medium let's save it and you can see the design is visible we want to make it a bit larger so let's use title large let's save it now these two properties with the space are related to one row because we want to use another row let me show you why we want to wrap this row create an icon button on press is null and icon is icons door more vertical means to add the more options so the reason to use is because we want to push this icon let me save it first and you can see the icon is currently over here and we want to push it towards the right side so we will use its main axis alignment and use the space between property let's save it and now we have the space between two items so this row is currently treating itself as a single widget so we have two widgets and these two widgets are equally have space between okay, once the first row is created next add some space then display another review and this review will be in our row this review is related to the user's review for that specific product a single user review so to show the review we are going to use the rating bar indicator and let's say this user review is four let's save it we can see the review over here and right next to this review we are going to use the text to display the date text is with the date add a style as body medium let's add some space which should be the width also this one is not width this is height because first row ends then we have to add some space in a vertical direction then after that we have the second property let's add a constant let's refresh and you can see we have space applied let's again give the height as space between items then display the description we are again going to use the read more text which we added in the previous tutorial so to add this go to pubspec and over here you can see we have read more package already added it will help us to toggle the text let's add a text next use the trim lines to two trim expanded text is show less you can also add collab text with a show more let's save it and we can see the text is visible currently it's already in the two line but we are missing one thing which is the trim mode we have trim mode dot length and line so let's use the trim mode dot line so it can trigger this event which is trim lines let's make it one let's save it and you can see we have a text which is show more and show less to make these two show more show less visible we can apply the style property show more has let's import the colors apply the text style let's save it and you can see we have the property currently changed so show less and show more is working fine okay once done let's add some small space and then we are going to create a container specifically for the company review when the company is going to give the review we're going to use the rounded container to add curve and also let's give some background color if the dark mode change the background color to darker gray else show the gray color so dark mode is already defined at the top which is from this function so this function returns true or false based on the condition if we have the dark mode enabled it will display this one else this one next as a child we want to add some padding padding will be from all the sides and t sizes dot medium which is 16.0 control alt l next to this padding so now we want to display two things so as a child of this padding we are going to use the column property because for the first entry of this column we will have company name and date then we will have a comment or the reply of the company so for the first entry we are going to use row to display the name and then after the text Text is a uh, body large. We want the date. Let's change the date. It is same like the date at the top. Now also again we want to use its main axis to add a space between both. Let's save it. And you can see we have name and the space added. Let's make the text theme bit bolder. So I'm going to use title medium. Let's save it. After this, we are again going to copy this read more over here with a space let's paste it let's save the code and you can see the reply is also now added because this is a single widget which is user review card so we can easily pass review card model 
and change each and everything related to one specific user so when we head back to product reviews over here we will simply pass a list of the reviews or we can add loop on top of this review card and display all the reviews related to specific users so that's it for this tutorial we can easily duplicate it and you can see it's created we we'll also have to add one last thing right next to this rounded container add an extra space make it space between sections let's save it so that we can have heights when we are going to show two to three cards or maybe more cards and when we are going to scroll it you can see we have all the list available so if you want a complete code the complete e-commerce application code is also available link is in the description or you can also watch the complete playlist link is in the description that's it for today's tutorial thank you for watching make sure to like the video and if you're new hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to get notified for all the upcoming videos once again thank you for watching take care allah hafiz